hope you guys doing well and today i'm going to show you that how you can uh, upgrade your uh, html4 coding into your uh, html5 so uh, previously we use uh, ids to define headers or maybe you can also use the menu for menu and then content for content and then article for article id for article uh, and the footer for the footer uh, but uh, you don't need to uh, add uh, ids uh, in your div tags you just need to write header tag and then menu tag actually nav and the section for content sorry I've written wrong here articles for article and footer for footer so that is very easy uh, and uh, useful for the CSS also uh, so it will be very easy uh, to define the uh, CSS you just need to only style these uh, elements by using their tags like header and uh, navigation for nav and sections and articles so this is how you can uh, speed up and uh, uh, shift your uh, HTML4 coding into your HTML5 coding so that will be very uh, easy in the previous HTML4 we have uh, some kind of uh, uh, doc type problem with the like like this we need to write this this code to define the HTML 4.1 uh, version and then <laughs> it will tell the browser so in the HTML5 that is very simple uh, you can al also mm, remember this tag uh, you can just uh, type doc type here and uh, uh, that is uh, your HTML document so that is very useful for uh, the developer to uh, define the structure of your website so now I'm gonna tell you some more about this first I'm gonna delete this one now I'm gonna tell you about some uh, mistakes that we can uh, do while coding so you can always define your document element in your first line so uh, you can also uh, add uh, with lowercase so give me a second if you uh, want to uh, consistency uh, with the lowercase tags you can also use this one but my bro but my editor will uh, not support this so use lo lowercase elements name so uh, max uh, mixing uppercase and lowercase names is bad so developers normally use lowercase names as in x, x, x html and uh, uh, lowercase look clear lowercase are easier to write you don't need to write here section that is a bad habit uh, we don't need to use uh, uh, cap uh, lowercase uh, you need to use lowercase here you don't need to use the uh, uppercase uh, in the HTML so here we got the lowercase result uh, that is very uh, good habit to do the 
programming and uh, some of the developers can define the starting tag and then this is a paragraph so you can also end the paragraph while the, uh, doing your uh, development so that is very good also and the preset uh, data preset utf8 uh, if you are working or maybe you can uh, write or maybe uh, you can uh, use uh, this html document type in uh, grab with the json uh, data you need to also use this one with the slash is also required for the uh, json or xml if you are um, need to grab this html into another uh, document so you can also use this one here and uh, now um, some of the developers have make some mistakes like actually I uh, made a mistake in my uh, starting um, so that's why I'm telling you this so that's a style yep. style tag is already there and uh, some of the developers can add the class with the uppercase you don't need to write the uppercase it's very bad um, it's very uh, slow down your uh, website uh, so you always need to add the lowercase class and uh, now I'm gonna tell you about the style sheet if you are linking your style sheet some of the developer make spaces here so that is very mm, also bad thing to do uh, you just mm, need to s uh, link your style sheet with the the attribute and value with no space you can add spaces here that is uh, normal thing mm, because the HTML tag will not consider space but in case you are using spaces here uh, it will be very bad for uh, um, your website and uh, um, the browser can uh, slow down your uh, website load time you can also sp uh, specify the language uh, which you are working uh, on with the lang en us so browser can uh, define as a uh, read as a uh, us uh, language um, or english language so that is uh, also very handy trick uh, to use in your uh, browsers so and uh, also you need to mm, add if you are working with the responsive websites you can also use this viewport tag viewport meta tag um, if you cannot use this uh, meta tag the, your uh, browser will uh, some of the browser cannot read the uh, uh, data properly and will break your responsive uh, things in the mobile devices and uh, the apple devices uh, will uh, did not uh, uh, make uh, properly responsive your website so that is very uh, important to use the uh, viewport uh, tag meta tag while working with the responsive websites so you know, browser can uh, read the viewport and uh, uh, allow you to uh, add media queries like uh, minimum um, mini min with the min width and the max width 
also. That is uh, how you can uh, define the uh, HTML uh, document. So, hope you guys uh, enjoy my tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Um, you can also visit my website uh, by um, seeing my vi this video description. And uh, uh, see you guys in my next video.